I'm all out of coffee, baby. All the coffee has been brewed off. It's all gone. And it's all spilled. And I can't find any more. Anywhere. On planet Tatooine. Planet Telboria. Jakku. Any planet. Because, look at right here. The Hot Toys Wizard nailed it once again. Not only are we getting the Third Sister and the Grand Inquisitor, but we're getting all four of these Inquisitors. Are you kidding me? And you have to wonder, is it possible since the Hot Toys Wizard did, in fact, again, get this right? That the Bespin Han, the Frog Lady... Bail Organa, Lobot, are all of those coming? Jar Jar Binks? As I said, I'm all out of coffee, but I do got some wizard juice. Mmm. Let's go ahead and dive into all of this, baby. Right now. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Market Value Chart Show right here at Six Gale Cantina. And wow, and my, and my, and wow, I am quite beside myself with this tease officially from Hot Toys for Star Wars. This has been an ongoing trend in 2022. If you go back after they released on April 13th, that awesome DX-25, they announced that on April 13th, the Luke Skywalker DX-25, Best Bid Luke, it has been absolutely sensational when it comes to announcements from Hot Toys for Star Wars. And remember, they totally blew us away, knocked it out of the park on May 4th earlier this year, with the Attack of the Clones 20th anniversary releases at around midnight in Eastern, with the Battle Droid, with the two clone uh, uh, troopers, with R2-D2, with the die-cast C-3PO, and then right after that, right after that, 24 hours later, they put up a little banner that said, Second Wave of thrills is coming for the 20th anniversary. And then not short not too long after that we spilled even more coffee. Talk about a coffee shortage this year. Wow. When they let us know that all the clone force 99, all of the bad batch are coming. That was another thing that they did. And remember what else they did even going back on that when, with the 20th anniversary releases. They went ahead and they teased Mace Windu with the Battle Troy. Then they let you know all of the Bad Batch are coming. Wow, I, I need to take a sip. And then with this market eclipse that is currently ongoing. Some were starting to wonder if they were going to backtrack from that. But I said no. Because they already knew 
that this market eclipse was coming. Hot Toys and Sideshow already knew that the requests on purchase orders were going to be way, way down. Which is why you're getting those massive waves of uh, uh, announcements like we've been getting from Hot Toys. And as you could clearly see with this, as you could clearly see, this is a straight direct indication that everything that they promised back in the spring and summer is 100% forthcoming baby. Here it is right here. And it's what I have been talking about here at Six Scale Cantina, soon to be Aries Cantina, for months and months and months. More and more robust, epic announcements, but less and less and less production volume on all of those announcements. Whether it's going to be a figure such as the Blurg, or even a figure like that DX27 Obi-Wan Kenobi, it doesn't matter. The future, in my view, and what I project for Hot Toys, and as they work with their official distributors, is pre-order, it's going to be more pre-order based than it is going to be, let's go ahead and pile on stock for the years to come and have it sit in warehouses. This is going to be a thing of the past. And I've spoken about this so many times. If this is the first time you're watching Six Scale Cantina, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And then after you do, and I do appreciate your support for subscribing, go check out all the old videos where I've talked about this. Because it'll give you a plethora of information. Or you could go ahead and join the channel. Because I give so much heightened thoughts and expanded analysis. And we'll go over that a little bit later in the show. About my latest episode on Cantina Insiders for channel members that's up. It will absolutely blow your mind. It's entitled Stockless. Because that is where we are going. The money is in the pre-orders. And the money is also on when those uh, figures first get released. And we're going to be diving into that a little bit more into this episode for sure. Look at that here. Look at this masterpiece. Look at how wonderful this picture is. And I tell you what, wow. I mean, <laughs> I mean, just look at this crew right here. It is absolutely sensational looking. And boy, those other two Inquisitors are going to be so, so fracking hot. So fracking hot. Wow. And I'm really, di I'm digging both. But I tell you what, uh, the female Inquisitor just looks so, so bad arse. She really, really does. It looks awesome. Wow, what a great job. The other Inquisitor. They're going all in. And this is also proof to show, without a shadow of a doubt, that lower production numbers are the way of the future. And the reason I'm saying that is because they're not going to be making as many of both of those other Inquisitors as they would the Armorer, the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian, some of those other characters, Cobb Vanth, they, they just wouldn't. Those are, these are going to be very, very low production runs. As will Cobb Vanth. As will the DX-27 Obi-Wan. The DX-28 Darth Vader. And look, I spoke about this in my Insiders video, but I'll give you a little bit of a tease. It doesn't matter the conventional thinking. Well, they got to keep Darth Vader's in stock. What about new collectors that get it? Look. 
I will tell you right now. Obi-Wan Kenobi, DX-27, was number one, number two was number two because the Vader came out for weeks and weeks and weeks. It was wow. And then all of a sudden from being up there so long, which typically happens, it's not even in the top 25 anymore when you sort it out best-selling wise. Because everybody who's going to pre-order it at that point already has. Now certainly there will be a boost and there there will be those who didn't pre-order it. Okay, and using particularly Sideshow as an example, sorting it out best-selling wise. That will order it once the final production photos come out, sure. But it's not going to be at the magnitude of when it first gets announced. And even though there are droves of new fans coming into Star Wars because of Mickey Mouse, Grogu, and the Mandalorian, and on top of that, many of those fans discover it Hot Toys for the very first time, it's still not massive enough to be able to keep that much extra stock in an economy such as this right now. Okay, so what is going to happen is goes up on pre-order, they get that initial boost, they're going to have so much and they're going to anticipate that's going to get pre-ordered after the final production photos or when the final production is, and then that will be it. But how? why would they lose out on money from other Darth Vader's or Obi-Wan Kenobi's? Or other Inquisitors. Believe me, baby. They won't be. Because you have to wonder. Is it possible that they will just continue to 2.0? And 2.5? And 2.75? And 3.0? And 3.25? And 3.5? And 3.75? And 4.0? All of these figures? And I say... Yes. One way or another, after a fashion, in somehow. Really, if you think about it, that awesome-looking Cobb Vanth, in a way, is a 2.0. It's the Boba Fett armor being used again. Sure, it's a different head sculpt. And it has some different fabric. But come on. They're clearly showing exactly what they're going to be doing. But I'm telling you right now, I am so freaking excited over these figures. These are the type of announcements I want as a Star Wars fan from Hot Toys. It's everything I've ever dreamed about from Hot Toys. And everything that I have been spilling my coffee with you on ever since I started this channel. So you have to wonder. When I've talked about Jar Jar Binks... And I've talked about Lobot. And I've talked about General Veers. And I've talked about Admiral Piet. And I've talked about the Bespin Han. The Hoth Han. The Hoth Luke. A Tauntaun. The Return of the Jedi Darth Vader. 1-6 scale version with the head sculpt. When I talked about Mace Windu, Kit Fisto, Plo Koon... Kiati Mundi, Yaddle, Ayla Secura, Shakti, Luminara Unduli, Azaj Ventress, Savage Opris. Come on. If they're giving you these other two Inquisitors, you could bet your arse that all of those figures I mentioned are forthcoming. And no, you're not going to have to wait five years or six years. Not at all. What have I been telling you? Lower production numbers, far more what? Announcements. Cobb Vanth equals number 20 for Star Wars in 2023. And when both of these get officially announced over the next few weeks and during the month of October. That's going to be 21 and 22. And then when you get a few other absolutely shocking, shocking 
announcements from Hot Toys to Star Wars. It's going to equal 23, 24, and 25. And yes, it'll have the window of July 2023 to December 2023 or October 2023 to March 2024. They'll all be counted as 2023 forthcoming releases from Hot Toys for Star Wars. And I've been telling you that for quite some time, that you could expect at least over 20 and probably more around 25, but could possibly be 30 for Star Wars in 2023 and Cobb Vanth is number 20. But my, oh my, I could not be more excited for sure. I am just blown out of the water, baby. Absolutely blown out of the water. So in closing, check it out, baby. This is a picture of the latest video banner from the latest Cantina Insiders channel membership show. This right now, this banner, you can see this right at SixScaleCantina.com, the official channel of this channel. And I'll blow this up a little bit for you. Go ahead and bookmark SixScaleCantina.com if you don't have it bookmarked yet. It has all the latest information, not only on the channel, but the secondary market for Star Wars Hot Toys, the primary market for Star Wars Hot Toys, anything Star Wars Hot Toys, SixScaleCantina.com, AriesCantina.com, absolutely insane. At SixScaleCantina.com, you get some wonderful samples of what you can get when you become a channel member. And this is the latest episode just uploaded, stockless. And just look at the banner. And I do a deep dive into analyzing, giving you some expanded thoughts, some heightened analysis on where I think Hot Toys is going in the future, production-wise, and how this is going to play out pre-order-wise as well. And when you calculate what's going on in a very rough global economy, and what has been going on, what has or was the trends, I should say, on how you would pre-order and how you could wait until figures get in stock and how you can wait until coupons come out for those that are in stock and you can wait even further and beyond for super duper coupons and maybe even wait even longer for super duper 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 coupons. Those things, I believe, are things of the past. And it's going to be a whole new world you could check it out in the latest video right here that you see on the screen. Again, this is SixScaleCantina.com. And all the latest news, there's the website, as you can see here on the corner of the screen, right above you there. There's the new Aries Cantina logo. Absolutely crazy. You could also go ahead for the holidays, even for those of you that have the official Six Scale Cantina mug, there's a 2.0, <laughs> a 2.0 for you right there. And let's go ahead and, uh, you know, showing you this here, move it a little bit down right here, as you can see. And all you got to do is go to Six Scale Cantina, click on that. It'll take you to the Zazzle Marketplace. They always have a little bit of a discount code on there. You can go ahead and uh, get a 15-ounce or an 11 ounce. So there you go. Anyway, what a wonderful show. What a wonderful time. Is it possible? You have to wonder. <laughs> don't forget to smash that like button. Thank you so very much. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate your support. So where will you see Six Scale Cantina live again? You know, we will be live on Brother Cousins' uh, show, The Best of the Best, um, this coming Thursday night. So, you know, you will, you'll catch me on there. 
Six Gale Cantina, Aries Cantina, will be live here this coming Saturday with a full paddle at 7 p.m. Eastern. You don't want to miss that. 7 p.m. Eastern leading right into Six Gale Mafia, Anthony's big, big show on Saturday night. So you don't want to miss that. And then, of course, every Monday is Monday night raw with the Dark Jedi. So you don't want to miss that this coming Monday again at 8.15 p.m. Eastern. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. We talk so much about the channel and about Star Wars Hot Toys. I put so much on Instagram. So much chatting going on on Facebook. All positive. Links to the social media. My social media. The Dark Jedi social media. The Hot Toys Wizards social media. Mm, is in the video description below. Remember, I don't always buy wizard juice out. But when I do, I buy it from Six Scale Cantina. Stay thirsty, my friends.